Some of the more common behavioral problems that people will ask about really aren't behavioral problems at all. For example, one of the more common is, why does my snake constantly bump his nose on the terrarium or on the roof of the terrarium? And it's not a behavioral problem, it's a natural thing that they do. They're escape artists, they're, they're testing their territory. And if you're not careful, these guys will actually lift the lid off of your terrarium. So you want to be very careful. Like this guy here, he wants to go explore to one side and the other. That's not a behavioral problem, that's natural snake behavior. One other really common question that people will ask is, why is my snake moving around the terrarium? And he has his mouth open. That's not a behavior, that's not he's angry. Most of the time what that's an indication of is that the heat is much too high in the tank. So it's an indication that you need to adjust the heat. Another one is, is why does my snake only stay on one side of the terrarium? He never moves around. A common reason for that is, is your heat gradient is wrong. If he's always on the cooler side, it may mean that you need to adjust down the heat on the warmer side. It should always be in the high 80s, maybe the low 90s. If you notice that the snake is always on the warm side of the terrarium and not moving, a lot of times what that means is the heat isn't enough. So we need to increase it a little bit so the snake will enjoy and move around the, the terrarium. So those are a few simple things that people will misinterpret as behavioral problems in snakes.